Hello, my name is Daphne Stannard. I'm the director and chief nurse researcher for the University of California Medical Center Institute for Nursing Excellence. I also serve as the director for the UCSF JBI Center. I'm thrilled to be here to talk about quality versus evidence versus research versus innovation. That's a mouthful. Embracing all types of clinical inquiry. This is what we're going to achieve in this presentation today. I'm going to cover it um, rather briskly, but there will be follow-ups, uh, resources, and tools that will help reinforce this material. So uh, this is from whence I hail, and uh, this is the medical center, UCSF Medical Center in the part of San Francisco. But we actually are on four campuses, and we have over 500 beds, and we're part of the University of California overarching system that is 10 campuses, five of which have medical centers. So we are part of the big system, but we are also a standalone system. And we're unique in that we're the only health sciences campus in the whole UC system. So when you come to our campus, you see a lot of lab codes. It's a lot of a lot of brisk walking and uh, health sciences. That's pharmacy, dentistry, nursing, medicine, physical therapy. And we have two libraries that support our research inquiry efforts. The big UCSF Kalmanovitz Library, which primarily serves the campus side, and then a smaller but fierce and ambitious uh, Mount Zion Fishbond Library that serves the medical center side. So I'm a qualitative researcher at heart, so I have to tell you a little bit about our context and sort of how this whole thing started. This whole thing started for me in that our medical center started on a magnet journey in 2009. And around the same time, uh, but not sort of related to this, just a, a sort of concurrent event, was uh, Dr. Nancy Donaldson from the School of Nursing formed a partnership with JBI to launch our first this UCSF JBI Center, and that happened in 2011. So the timing of it was sort of, as they all came together, was sort of around the same time. In 2012, the UCSF JBI Center moved to the Medical Center when I became the director of it. And so a few of you might be asking, what is MAGNET? MAGNET designation is the highest accolade bestowed upon medical centers and health systems by the American Nurses Credentialing Center. It's a nationally and internationally recognized designation to show exemplary patient care and nursing engagement across an organization. And there are five MAGNET components, structural empowerment, transformational leadership, exemplary professional practice, new knowledge and innovation, and empirical quality results. The thing I want to underscore is that new Knowledge and innovation is really where the research and evidence-based practice piece uh, lies within the MAGNET designation. And MAGNET has been so important in transforming medical centers across the United States and abroad in terms of ensuring that there's adequate infrastructure and resources to have evidence-based practice and research activities. So it's been such a powerful and important force in transforming medical centers. And uh, it has been a great journey for us as well. One of the cornerstones to MAGNET is that the clinical nurse, the bedside clinician, uh, what used to be called a direct care nurse, um, has to have empowerment, has to have, their voice has to be heard in decisions, they have to be able to make change. So we have a shared decision making model as all uh, magnet hospitals do. They all differ slightly, but uh, there's, you know, so that has to be sort of in place and actively working. And you'll notice that on this slide there are there are a number of councils, core councils, but Research and Innovation Council is, is the one that really drove the new knowledge and innovation work uh, for, our magnet, for our magnet journey. And that is comprised, the members of that council are comprised, the majority are clinical nurses. Uh, we have a few managers, a few clinical nurse specialists, and we have the librarians on that group as well. Um, and then we have a lot of the clinical nurses that are there were former evidence-based practice fellows, so they've actually gone through some of these programs and they can speak to the value and the importance and what needs to be changed or what needs to be preserved. So this Research and Innovation Council did a lot of the heavy lifting during this magnet journey in terms of identifying our gaps, what needs to be put in place, and the librarians were instrumental in that. Uh, and they, in fact, were able to turn around if we identified that bedside nurses felt like they didn't know how to do an adequate lit search, just a really basic literature search. So that came up as one of the very first things we identified. So the librarians said, well, we can offer free monthly lit searching classes. So they started putting that on, and every month those are full. We have 2,300 nurses, and they're offered monthly. They've been offered monthly since 2010, and they're full every month. So that's just, it's a really great story of the collaboration that goes on between these different disciplines to ensure that we can have the best available evidence in the hands of the clinicians.